All creators in this video have given written consent to have their work reproduced on this channel. I want to expose my subscribers to other scrap creators so they can grow their channel. Today, like always, we have some awesome scrappers showing you what they find on their travels while hustling some side cash and helping the environment in the process. We have a scrapper who lives in the state where you must try if you visit is the fry bread and prickly pear margaritas. What state is this? The state of Arizona, and this is where our first scrapper, salvaging in Arizona, is from. Well, we have reached our pretty little neighborhood here, and we got our first stop of the day. Now, one thing today, folks, also, as you can see, we are driving the priority truck today, so it is smaller than the other one, so maybe not all of, we'll be grabbing all as much as we do today, but we'll grab as much as we can. We got a couple piles here a safe hmm. <gasps> is this really plastic this is a plastic safe come on now are you serious <laughs> we're making safes out of plastic now oh yeah here we go oh this is the whole bag's going yep. this is all electronics the whole bag is going one second Uh, I don't like seeing pictures and trophies being done away. God, I hate that. Picture albums. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Okay. Got an Amazon man there waiting for me, so we'll get going. Little thing here. We'll see what we can get. Is this all? Oh, yeah. We'll take this whole thing. Heck yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Appreciate it. Helping me reduce space. Yeah, I know. This neighborhood's always get some good stuff out of here. Yeah, I'll bet. Thanks, man. Hey, well, this, these are ramps. Yeah. Wow. Oh my lord, dude, these things weigh a ton. Oh my god. It's. I'm sorry. It's bulk trash day. Hablang, do you have hablang, lace, senor? Okay, it's bulk trash, yeah. so people set out metal, yeah. and, and I come along and pick it up. Yeah, and yeah. so I thought I know, that was... I know, I know what we got. Okay, and... okay. Thank you. No, sorry, sorry. Thank you, sir. Some, sometimes people... Last week, I found a table saw. Uh -huh. Somebody left out. They leave out leaf blowers, lawnmowers. So I thought... Yeah, well, that <laughs> went to put it at. Things like that happen, you know? You never know. It's across the street and sitting in the grass. So what do you think? What, would y'all have done that? You got that there, and we got ramps there. I don't see a trailer anywhere. I see a bobcat, but I don't see a trailer for, for that ramp to go up on, so for, for the ramps to be used. I don't know, whatever, but it happens. What do you got? Char. And yes, I did take German in high school. <laughs> I know Mike the Scavenger spouts out a lot of German, but I also took four years of German. Living in Arizona makes a lot of sense, don't it? Two years in high school, two years in college. Ich lerne Deutsch. Kleine Deutsch, kleine Deutsch. <laughs> and it's gotten kleiner as the years go on. I don't know if that's even right. If I got any German folks listening in, chime in. I may spot out a little bit of German here and there. I'm not trying to imitate anybody. I really did take four years of German. Which I think I used one time in 24 years of police work. Now, ask me how many times I used Spanish. The little bit that I know. I, I know enough to get by, but <laughs> yeah. Learning German in Arizona was not the smartest thing I could have done, but hey. Let's move on. And here's another cool part about this neighborhood, folks. <laughs> this is at the end of, it's like at the beginning of the neighborhood. I mean, just look down. This is sunken lake, everything. That's top golf over there, by the way. I mean, dog park, everything. Just beautiful, beautiful neighborhood. That's why I love when this area opens up. I really do. I love it. Hey, we got us a light fixture. Somebody has a, a frame of Bear Grylls Man vs. Wild. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. 
now we can start throwing wires and stuff. <laughs> oh, am I, uh, no, it's oh. just you picking, right? Yeah. So just, we, that's just, all. Oh. Looking. I don't want the big stuff this year. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I just grab metal. That's all I grab. Oh, okay. There's a yeah. Lot of that oh, yeah. I get plenty here. Let me tell you. <laughs> metal wires, all that good stuff. It does. I take thousands of pounds every week. Yeah. You guys have a good one. Thank you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Bye. Thank you. I'm just hidden in between the cars there. I see a little stand here. Again, like I said, I told you furniture pickers that come through here. I mean, if I was a furniture guy, look at this. This is any golf clubs in there. Okay. Uh -oh. This little thing here right here and the wire. I'll take that. wasn't on the neighborhood list, but stumbled upon this one, so hey. That's a heavy one, jeez. Okay. All right. Oh, aluminum. Yeah, a little air compressor that they put out on the curb there. Okay. And by the way, folks, this is a new neighborhood. <laughs> In two months, I will have been doing this for a full year on YouTube, and I am still hitting new neighborhoods. <laughs> I'm telling you folks, this town is huge. Lots of na neighborhoods and lots of suburbia. Yeah. What? Okay, a little radiator of some sort. Well, got a little, yeah, uh, something there. A little bit of metal going on there. Controller. What is that? Xbox One W2K19. Okay. Again, folks. If that's a good one, let me know, because I'm not a gamer. By the way, speaking of gamers, that PSP I found last week that was like in perfect shape, works with the Madden 06 disc inside. Like I said, I'm not a gamer, but my son-in-law is, and he loves it, so pretty cool. Let's move on. Hiding out on us here, huh? Yeah, that's... Hey, another broken down Direct TV. This is two weeks in a row, they've broken one down for me, all right? And just like the old joke says, we're even taking the whole kitchen sink. They even took the whole kitchen sink. Yes, I did. We got a couple speakers there. Another hidden tucked in neighborhood. Whoa. What is this? Uh, I don't know, but it's, man, okay. <laughs> it's full of goodies, that's what I know. Okay, so we're talking wire, a lot of boards. Oh, and yokes, this is like a three TV monitor. What? So there's three copper yokes and all this. Well, why don't you shut up and throw it in the truck? How's that sound? Throw it in there. Damn. Good hit, good hit, good hit. All right. All right. There we got us a love sack and a little baby stroller. I see a lot of wire sticking out. That's always a good thing. Some, we got some coax, some regular, but we'll separate all that out. Like I said, my yard does take coax, but as steel shred, steel shred only. So, okay, so we got parts of a computer. All right, now we're talking. And you know what, folks? That's what I was hoping for today with this small truck. It was a lot of small, good stuff, and that's what I'm getting. That is an answered prayer right there, literally. Like, I'll fill up on electronics all day long. Oh yeah, oh yeah, these are coming out one by one because those things are huh, heavy. And what is this? Glo 
gloves. Oh, hell yeah. Four boxes of rubber gloves. Three? Yeah. I use these all the time. Working on cars, scrapping. Shoot. Another box of gloves. More. More. These are just expensive. I mean, they're throwing them away. Another box of gloves. Well, I ain't gonna need gloves for a while. Are you serious? Wipes. Oh, an entire box of unused wipes. Uh, yeah, yeah. We're, we're gonna take that. I mean, a pack of wipes at the store is four or five bucks. It's a box of it. I think it is. It sure is. I would say that was a fortuitous turn in the road. Absolutely. Well, on volume alone, this one is worth looking at. Well, how about you tie your shoes, Steve? Instead of looking like a moron, walk around with your shoes untied. Mr. Scrappity did a thing about boots, and I, I, I left a message for him and told him to get some Danner boots. Now these boots here, I bought a <laughs> long time ago, because and the other ones lasted me, I kid you not, like two and a half years. They just blew out the other day. Danner brand boots. I do not show for them, but hey, if they if you're watching Danner, <laughs> I'll show for you. Lasted two years of police work and just about a year of scrapping. So <laughs> before they finally went out, so not bad. I'll well, just stick it right out there on the curb. Okay, let's see. Now, right on the corner, we got a, like a fan and a little kiddo bag. Again, folks, another new neighborhood. <laughs> that is metal. Looks like it'll fit perfectly right there. It's made for it. Oh, look at this. Somebody dismantled uh, a stool. The city does tell them to dismantle. <laughs> Some folks really take that. You know what? No. But either way, we'll clean up and on we go. Now we got us a motor, wires, metal. That looks like a little something that might be worth looking at. Ah, oh, that's a light one. It is light. A little bit of metal here too. Yeah, that sure is. Good little house clean down there. So let's just start grabbing all the wires we see. Steel dog bowls. Look around here. Light fixture, of course, always. Okay. A little bit of something. Or is that plastic? Since we're running low on we want to get this small. Okay, another pile here. What is that? I don't know, it's metal. Oh, kid books, kiddo books. Sure, we'll get that one for a little man. For the littlest of the men. My little one year old grandson. Sure, I always try to get something. All right, folks, here in Southern Arizona, it's time for a non Ferris run on a Wednesday. So let's head down and see what we got. We got a lot of little things, maybe a few more than some things, but let's see what we got here. We have bullet brass, dirty brass, stainless steel, clean brass. Check out that hookah. Showed that in an earlier episode. Pretty cool, huh? Little tiny bit of clean copper, little bit of number one, dirty copper, and oh, and these pool wires, I'm turning in these things. This thing weighs a ton. I mean, good Lord. Uh, regular wires and some good boards that I got out of uh, computers taking them apart and these here are uh, batteries ballasts and motors that are not copper copper they're copper uh, aluminum so and transformers so we got that too my biggest reason for going is the, the amount of motors I have like I said I am a motor puller I do like pulling them 
and, uh, and as I mentioned before, unfortunately in Arizona, we have to turn them in this way. They won't let you do it. There's a weird quirk in the law. But anyways, I got to turn them in this way, but let's check out that that ain't all of them. Look at this beast. This came out of a generator. Somebody actually took this. This was already all apart like this. <laughs> it was crazy. I mean, this thing is massive. Uh, old skill saw. But, uh, and then this big old pool motor. So we're, we're going to run these down. We're going to a different place today uh, that deals with more in non-ferrous. And so we'll see what we get. Well, all right, folks. One thing I forgot to mention is that I've thrown my hat into the ring of resale. What the heck? I haven't done it before. I'll at least try it once. Found this nice table saw. I actually got somebody who says they're coming. They're going to pay me 65 bucks for it. So, hey, not too bad. And if it keeps going, maybe we'll, maybe we'll continue. We'll see. But... I couldn't just let this go. This this thing works. This this is this has everything on it. Well, all right, folks, we are getting close to the indoor scrapyard that we're going to today. They don't like filming here, so we will see you on the way out. Well, this I'm gonna film because we're outside. I got so much motors that they're having me fill up one of these things here that's pretty cool we'll see where it ends up not too bad if i do say so myself well all right folks here in Salad, arizona let's do a wrap-up and we're gonna be doing a wrap-up here while holding the little man yeah he's he's with us here today got a good one today real good one today a uh, lot of stuff i'm gonna try and zoom in here we got hard drives ballast boards brass clean and dirty aluminum insulated copper wire batteries copper electric motors uh dirty brass die cast green boards memory boards fingerboards so basically everything i had for a total of 203 dollars that is not a bad payday whatsoever our next creator is going to open my next series dumpster divers he lives in a state that has hot weather amazing barbecue and the official state dish is chili. What state is this? The state of Texas, and this is where my friend Romantic roams. Thing up in there. Uh. Oh yeah, right off the rip. Yes, yes please. Yeah. Yeah. Another piece of copper I would have tossed down. That's why I like to look in here real quick before I just jump in. I would have to hunt for that stuff. piece of brass on that nut. Oh, another piece. Sweet. Let me get a bucket. I 
guess it ain't. They're just about to throw the whole trash can away. <laughs> they don't care. We just get just them two pieces of copper out of here. I'll be happy because it was free. Come on. About 30 pea bottles in that one. Oh, a feral. Very good tatter. Seth to get mad. Pea bottle, sweet. Uh, I'm looking here. Got to kind of fill up the bags a little bit when you throw them. What else you got in here? A bunch of nastiness. Cool. Yeah, that's it for that one. See you, Roll back. Oh, this one might be a good one too. Watch this. Anything good up in here? Eh, not really. Not really. It's all good. Scoot all this stuff back for when I look for the next day or two. Check that out. Let's slush out cancer. That's awesome. Too bad it has poop residue on it. I'd take it. Some toys. Merch for the merch washers. This is what I'm trying to get at. See if we got lucky. Not today. Alright. Made my little hole get over there what we got in here anything good yes got some hardware brass brass uh, bolts brass bolts and nuts sweet one more two more awesome Full of piss. A piece of brass right there. Little itty bitty piece of copper. 
scraping, scraping and all, scraping. These are copper bands. That's a piece of brass right there, if I can get it with the on. You know what, I like gloves, they, yeah, they, they're safe, blah, 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 but they get in your way a lot. I don't care what anybody says. Care for a bottle of wine, Woodbridge. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Somebody asked, why don't you take pop cans? Let me tell you how many it takes to make any money. Sure, you can collect those as a hobby or whatever. It takes so many, so many of those to make a pound. And, uh, it's a little too many. Took in a big old trash can or two for five bucks. You know how long it took me to collect those up? Look at that juicy thing. There's almost five bucks right there. Not that I have to explain myself to anybody. Cause I'm out here doing it. I'm sure another keyboard warrior will ask me why I don't. And it's gonna continue. Okay, that's deep enough, I think. Yep, we'll call that one a success. If I can get my ass out of here, that'd be more, even more successful. Yeah, I'm a little beat up. Had a rough life. Boyaka. Goodies. In the truck. I forgot my bucket again. I get excited and just jump right out. Hey, you guys aren't going to believe this. Boyaka. Boom. 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 Oh, I love you plumbers. Oh, and a piece of brass. Uh, yeah. Boom, that's just a first handful. Let me get my damn bucket. A bucket a day. Oh yeah. Oh, it's got a crack in it. Kind of like my ass. Hmm. A bucket a day will keep the bill man away. I mean, even if that's it for this whole dumpster, shoo, I'm all right with that. I won't be digging too much on that side, but I will be taking these. This, oh yeah, sucker. Nice little valvey job. And a nut. Check these too. Wings, oh yeah. We be taking that stuff. Okay, let's get back into what we were doing here. Uh -huh. Just shake them, you'll hear it. If you shake them, it will come. No guy jokes. Oh yeah, we like these. We like these too. Come here, you. Fucking gloves. Make everything impossible sometimes. But they're safe for you, bro. Kiss my ass. Yep. 
go over to the other side. See what else we can snip on. Oh, that dude's is a chunk of lid. And I believe he's a brass and that's brass. That's a big chunk. They've been replacing a lot of chunks of lead lately. I got some of that stored up. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. I'm going to melt it into something or, or just sell it. I have no idea. Cut the ends off of those. I'll repeat that until everybody catches it. Another huge chunk of lead. All that. That's plastic. That's all lead. Jeez wheeze. Nice. Oh, a little bit of brassy boy right there, buddy. Brass for that ass. Yeah. That might be steel. It's alright, I'm gonna take it. That brass. I don't understand why people don't want to go out there and get this stuff, man. Go get it. There. Piece of zinc. Wouldn't have broke like that if it was brass. Would have struggled just a bit more. Let's see what's in this. Looks like a good hole sometimes. Sometimes. Not all the time. It smells like straight piss up in here. <laughs> yep, I think that's gonna be it. box inside of a box we like those peanuts popcorns get your programs yep that's it we're gonna call this one hit boom baby look at that some bitch uh juicy oh hell yeah The dehumidifier dumpster and it's looking a lot like Christmas uh, no thank you not too bad of a score uh, just a couple of little pieces to add to the pile we love our brass everybody knows that I clean this up it's a lot more plastic and stuff than you think and copper number two Nah, that ain't bad, man. All this stuff adds up. It all goes in a pile, okay? But I'd have to say, uh, this lead, ah, eh, some of it's just heavy. Let's see what we got on that lead right there. Just that one piece. Got two pieces right there. We're back on zero. All right. Might, it might, the scale only goes to like 10 pounds, so. That's 9.2 pounds on that one piece, man. Shoot, dude. I like this lead, man. I'm going to have to melt some of it up. Make something out of it. I don't know what yet, though. Let's check this piece here. All right. 5.10. Awesome. That's awesome, man. Now, listen. I'm going to put a link below. Okay. Let's see my Facebook rules. If you're not into short videos, that's fine. Um, I have one reel in particular. I'd like to see hit a million. We hit a million on that reel. I'm gonna double, maybe even triple up my last giveaway of 200. Cause that's nothing. That's just petty. I want everybody that's in the chat on the next giveaway, send me some info and I'll send you something. T-shirt, sticker, something. I don't know what yet. We're gonna make it awesome for everybody. It's cool to give a couple prizes away. But these reels, they're they're paying huge. So I should be able to send everybody a little something. Until the next one, love, peace, and chicken grease. If you know of a scrapper or you are a scrapper and want to grow your channel, send me an email to ytmikethescrapper at gmail.com. We'll put your videos up on YouTube and hopefully help you grow your channel.
while this series is growing and I hope you have subscribed to my channel and to all the other creators on the Curbside Scrapper series. Now we have a scrapper whose state is known for hot brown, royal oysters, and beer cheese. What state is this? It's the state of Kentucky and this is where Scrapman69 is from. Picture. Yeah, she said you liked it. Thank you. Is that your antenna over there? Is that your antenna laying there? All right. Good job, Dad.
to the door lock now, Sam. Sorry, the box hit my camera. I was recording my hat. Yeah, I'm too close. Put it in the washers first. Yeah, so that's what I was playing. Put it in the washers first. Yeah, so that's what I was playing. Ready? It's pink. Is it? Yeah. My dad said he probably have another bottle show probably in a couple weeks or so. I'll come get it if you want to scare it. Okay. I was going to you get here for we can do do the wash it together with the dog. Oh in the microwave. Sorry. Nice. Oh, shit. I'll get it. A penny. Now what? This? Sorry, jumped yeah, down and the camera went down. Need to make it tighter for next Let's time. Sorry. First. Huh? Stick the grill in first. Mm. Uh, let's do this. You think it's so heavy, bro? Oh. behind it. Stick the gear 
here. I was recording my hat the whole time. I should have brought my clippers. this stuff does. I just didn't bring my clippers. I want to thank everyone for watching. Till then, guys, this is Mike the Scrapper. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Peace.